My son Matthew did not look like a winner. <laughs> he was rather uncoordinated and he wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6, 1998, my son tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died 50 days before his 22nd birthday. Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend Mr. Henderson, left him there by himself. Matt's beating, hospitalization, and funeral focus worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People are saying that enough is enough. I miss my son. But I am proud to be able to say that he is my son. Matt believed that there were crimes and inc incidences that justified the death penalty. I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see him die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process. To show mercy to someone who refused to show mercy. Mr. McKinney, I'm going to grant you life. As hard as it is for me to do so because of Matthew. You, you robbed me of something very precious and I will never, I will never forgive you for that. Mr. McKinney, I give you life in the memory of one who no longer lives. May you live a long life. And may you thank Matthew every day for it.